Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to start up with lecture four of my AutoCAD basics uh, course. And in it, I'm going to solve uh, the first quiz that we have in the class and it might be good, uh, useful, uh, you know, example for you guys uh, overseas watching this uh, channel. Uh, as you might see, that's uh, the quiz in here is actually targeting to start up uh, more architectural practice and having uh, our first, uh, you know, the, the plot of land and then the fence, some walkway in the top view of a building. So uh, let's just start. It's uh, actually when we have a document like this, it's a good idea to start up from the outside uh, boundary of the land itself. Uh, you can actually, of course, start from the inside, but I do really prefer starting from outside, especially if all the dimensions is describing external, uh, external uh, the, all the provided dimensions actually uh, describing an external uh, sides or faces or elevation of the building. So here we have a 25,000 and 22,000. Always the question goes from uh, lots of my students, what are the units? And again, uh, it's it's a big unit, so it should be in millimeter. And otherwise, if you put meter, that will be 25 kilometer. And that's really, you know, crazy to be considered, uh, you know, uh, a correct answer. So it goes and you know, like uh, start up with units. I did that already in here, and fix that to millimeter or double check in a millimeter. And now you go to uh, L space, and then you know, make sure uh, you are using the proper uh, color in the beginning from the power PowerPoint panel and a couple of lectures ahead we're going to start using depending on layers uh, as I promise you to upload uh, the, the coming lectures talking about uh, more detail I think one or two lectures from now we're going to talk about layers so we should start up from layer not from the selecting color or anything from the property panel anyway so for now it's uh, it's a 22,000 and for down, I uh, have 25,000. Don't forget to hit F8 uh, to activate uh, to activate the ortho command so you can get the perpendicular line quickly. The offsets for the thickness that representing the thickness for the wall is a 200 mil. So we can go ahead and uh, and do that. And now just F space, M space, and getting out all the extra lines in the corners here instead of using a trim now we start up to look for the dimension to draw the building itself here it doesn't give the dimension straightforward to the to the building but rather to draw the walkway kind of crazy but i will follow it's a 2800 all sides so offset 2800 all sides so That's uh, it here. Again, fence. Sorry, again, F space, M space, fill it multiple. That keep the command going, you know, instead of keep hitting F space and click, clicking two lines and then repeating that. And then 2000 for all again to start to find the other part of the building. So that's 2000 again. But this time, not all of it to follow, you know, the same, uh, the same thing. So I have to get one mask by the time. Uh, now I'll go here. It's uh, fillet radius two. So F space R space two thousand and space, and then we're gonna select that guy and that guy. Great. Now after the two thousand, we have another three thousand to get that line, that edge. So offset three thousand. Now we need the thickness of that object. I'm actually defining this guy here, if you haven't noticed yet. I'll go 4,000. Like that. Now fill it radius 0 and then M. Again, F space, R space 0, so I can make cornered. And then M space, so the command will still on to help me keep cutting, you know, or filleting lines like that. And now I get myself the first object. Now I can go ahead and create this guy here, which is uh, just basically 4,000 by 7,000. So offset uh, 7,000 that way. And you offset 4,000 that way. Oops. 
offset 4000 that way again now with fillet everything is just possible so trimming that guy dr space space by the way now 2000 by 2000 chop you can go ahead and do the you know the chamfer command which I don't know I don't like why I don't like that guy so I find it easier to get draw that line and then draw this two things and then you know dr space space to get those out first draw the construction lines erase the construction lines like this with window and like this you know and then to trim the, the, the remaining original lines now that thing whatever it is it's a 2500 and then 4000 cool so 2500 and a 4000 that way oops is it yep it's a 4000 that way so it's already here okay great right that's here click this one this one and then this guy with this guy and we have uh, you know this now the last thing 3000 we already have that and then the distance from here to here which we don't have that's a scary isn't it okay and actually we have it so it's 2000 and then 2000 from this line so from this line I can go just uh, 4000 or okay can consider it with that line all right so fill it this with that and then we gotta go and now uh, you know I'm gonna just grab that and push it upward so that is a really you know it's missing where it's actually start and if, as long as it's look like in the middle and there is nothing specified that in the middle uh, you can assume it to be in the middle uh, nothing again no dimension and then it's look like in the middle you can go ahead and describe that's what we agreed on in the class if you remember that if there is no specification or no dimension to specify the actual width and then it's look like in the middle you go ahead and assume it so that's uh, basically it as a general mass you know that we have for our building let's go and make uh, those the uh, opening here the masses is done as you can see now let's go for those here so what they are some mess here in the dimension I agree so that's a 500 by 1500 by 1000 so Again, the same thing with the Y, so without thinking, it's a 500 offset, both sides, and then 1000 to make the rectangle, like that, and then another 500 both sides, like such, and then 1000. So, those opening now that we have four rectangles right that's uh, one two three four right so I can go ahead and just draw REC here rectangle from this point to this point while uh, those guys are actually kept straight this guy and this guy so just uh, trim select that guy and that guy and remove everything here and remove everything here now you can go a circle and then trim again and then you just simply can remove actually I shouldn't remove that so just trim that based on the arc itself anyway so those we don't need and those guys also we don't need now we need uh, actually we do need so undo 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 yep those guys we still need them so now another two lines to stay that guy and that guy and then we need another circle like this and then trim so that's uh, that's about it for those guys here it's been drawn now it, that's the similar thing you see that I didn't specify anything for you that's mean that's a mirror so you can go ahead uh, I chopped that line by accident 
So you go ahead, MI, and then space, select the object, and then space, specify the midpoint, which is that, and that's the midpoint. So when you see crazy thing like that, stop and select this guy, delete him. That means there is two lines. Always prevent or pro avoid this method of work that's having too much lines above each other in the same place. That's uh, really a bad, a bad way in working in AutoCAD. So that's uh, with mirror taking place, finishing the object. Now those dashed lines, as I told you in the quiz, they just represent the center or the location of the center of an object. You don't need to, you know, actually draw it. So I'm gonna, you know, draw those construction lines with uh, with the need of, uh, you know, extension. I'll go rectangle, draw the first rectangle as a 1,000 by 1,000. And then I need to move that guy from the center to the center to this endpoint of that line. I can just go move and then you know pick that guy here and then pick that guy again from the mid to this point like that. Or and the space, select the object space, then when you specify the base point, hit shift continuously and right click. And you get this guy midpoint between two points. Lovely. So I want the point between this one and this one. So it will be the center. And then move it, removing all those guys anyway. If you don't need them, I probably we need them to make one of those chairs, which are the wide side 600, the small side 300, and then the overall depth of it. Another 600 with a gap of 100 here. So 3, 6, and 6. Okay, we can do that. So offset, uh, let me leave the offset to the last step. So I'll start whatever here. So it's a 300 that way and then 600 that way okay no more for this no more for that then 150 that way and if you figure it out i'm drawing half of those so that's 150 when i mirror it, it will be 300 that's a 300 when i mirror it it will be 600 so what i'm gonna do connect those two things mirror just this guy like that then get rid of this and then fill it Again, don't make, you know, that's why I didn't mirror the whole, if you are asking why you didn't mirror the small line. So I don't end up having two lines here, two lines here. You should have one line and one line here. That's the right thing to be done. I'm going to move that guy to the mid, and then I'm going to move it back with move previous 100 millimeter away. Now, uncle mirror again. And then rotate RO, select that guy, space, the base point, shift and right click, mid between two points, and select this and this. Now you see that I made this first side, so mirror again, space, shift and right click, mid, and I want it between this guy and this guy, and this guy, like that. And by this, it's done, you know. Uh, that's the that's the first quiz that you you have here in our uh, in our uh, classes in Ajman University. I wish that you find this guys overseas watching our YouTube channel. Uh, you find that uh, exercise useful, and I will just solve the second quiz uh, in the next video. Thank you. See you there. Bye.